the method by which a cutting device moves or transports materials such as vinyl backwards and forwards in the x-axis is via what are commonly called pinch rollers. This is a typical Mimaki pinch roller, seen here on a Mimaki CJV series integrated printer cutter. Pinch rollers comprise of two parts, a lower knurled metal roller and a rubber top roller. The top rollers are designed to lower down onto the vinyl. The pressure from the top rubber roller pushes the backing sheet of the vinyl into the bottom knurled roller. This is how the device grips the vinyl. A major factor governing cut accuracy is how precisely the pinch rollers can transport the vinyl backwards and forwards through the device. The top and bottom rollers must be well maintained. They should be free from glue, dirt and dust and the top roller should be pliable and clean. To clean the pinch roller, use isopropyl alcohol. The bottom grit roller can become contaminated with adhesive and paper residue, which can build up, causing the roller to lose its effectiveness and grip. It should be kept clean and free of contamination. The loss of grip can result in the vinyl slipping, which will cause problems with accuracy. It is very important that the top rollers sit wholly on top of the bottom roller. A cutting device will have several pinch rollers spanning the width of the platen. As a general rule, these should be distributed as evenly as possible across the width of the device. Pinch rollers can mark the vinyl due to the pressure they apply. To avoid this, the pressures can be reduced or even switched off in the case of the inner pinch rollers. The pressure that pinch rollers apply can be adjusted across the range of low, medium and high. Additionally, inner rollers can be deactivated so they don't come into contact with the vinyl. Depending on the material used and the nature of the graphic, the operator should optimise these settings in order to gain the best results. The outermost pinch rollers, the one on the left hand side and the one on the right hand side, must always be set to the same pressure. Equally, the inner pinch rollers should be set to the same pressure, however the pressure may be different to the outermost pinch rollers and will depend upon the type of job being cut. On initial media loading, the device will require the number of pinch rollers to be set on the control panel. This will differ depending on the width of both the material and the device. The stability and movement of the media in the X direction plays a huge part in overall accuracy. The main contributing factors are as follows. Grip. The pinch rollers should be clean, in good order and not worn. Cutting speed. The higher the cut speed, the greater the possibility of vinyl slippage. Lower cut speeds will generally result in better overall accuracy. Cutting pressure. Cutting effectively pinches the vinyl between the blade holder and the cutting strip. This has the effect of dragging the vinyl as the vinyl is propelled forwards or backwards by the pinch rollers. The best way to minimise this effect is to employ multiple pinch rollers equally spaced whilst using the minimum amount of cutting pressure. Acceleration. The higher the acceleration, the greater the possibility of vinyl slippage. Lower acceleration will generally result in better overall accuracy. Up speed. In the scenario where cutting speed has been reduced, it is important to note that when the cutting tool is in the up position and moving from the end of one cutting point to the beginning of the next, the speed may be set differently. This is known as the up speed or tool up speed and reducing this will generally result in better overall accuracy. Data sorting. The less backwards and forwards action the vinyl has to make, the better. Small feed errors creep in due to the vinyl being driven backwards and forwards. To minimise this movement, a technique called data sorting is used. Data sorting will analyse the cut data 
and find the most efficient and accurate way of moving. Vinyl stability. Vinyl is not a particularly stable media, especially compared to polyester. It will expand and shrink depending on heat, humidity and ink saturation. Some vinyls are more stable than others, for example vinyls that have a silicon coating on the paper backing sheet that are less susceptible to moisture. Therefore, when printing and cutting, it should be noted that the dimensional stability of the media may vary significantly. Whilst adjusting pressure and roller position may affect media feed performance, by observing these basic principles, cutting accuracy and stability should be improved.